Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 and the crochet hook is in size 4.5 millimeters. I'll start by making a slip knot and then I will chain 78. Now that I chained 78, I'll make sure that my chain is not twisted. Then, through the last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. This is our foundation row. So now, for row 1, I'll chain 3. And right here to that same chain we make two double crochet cluster. We have to make three double crochet cluster where this three chain beginning counts as one. I'll chain two. And I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain two, skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make three double crochet cluster. Chain two, skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain two, I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make three double crochet cluster. Chain two. I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain two. I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make three double crochet cluster. So I'll repeat this throughout row 1. To finish row 1, I'll chain 2, then right here through this first double crochet cluster chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. This completes row 1. Now for row 2, I'll use yarn in different color. And right there to that same chain where we have ended the previous row. Through that chain, insert my hook, then insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain one, then through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. Now I'll chain two. Through this next single crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain two. Through this next triple crochet cluster, I'll make one single crochet. Chain two. Through this next single crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain two. Through the next triple crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Chain two. Through this next single crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row 2. Now to finish row 2, I'll chain 2, then right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. This completes row 2. Now for row 3, I'll use brown color again. And uh, for row 3, we repeat row 2. So now right here through this first single crochet that we made in the beginning of the row, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain three, then through that same loop I'll make two double crochet cluster. Not loop but chain. And now I'll chain two, then through this next double crochet chain I'll make one single crochet. See, we're just repeating row one. Again, I'll chain two, 
Then for this next single crochet chain, I'll make three double crochet cluster. Chain two. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Chain two. Through this next single crochet chain, I'll make three double crochet cluster. Chain two. Then through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Chain two. Through this next single crochet chain, I'll make three double crochet cluster. So yeah, we repeat this throughout row three. And as I said earlier, for row three, we're basically repeating row one. And for row four, we repeat row two. We repeat rows three and four. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we repeat rows three and four until we have eighteen rows in total, or until our work measures well eight and a half inches at this point. Then we'll start to decrease. So radiate race first. So I crochet chain, I insert my hook, and I insert my hook to a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain three. So this is row 19, and we are decreasing. Now through the same chain, I'll make one double crochet. It's supposed to be two double crochet clusters, but uh, it's the beginning of row, so it's difficult. Now through this next double crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Through the next single crochet chain, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Through the next double crochet chain, two double crochet cluster. Through the next single crochet chain, two double crochet cluster. Through the next double crochet chain, two double crochet cluster. So I'll repeat this throughout row 19. Through every double crochet and single crochet, we're making two double crochet cluster. Now to finish row two, right to this first double crochet cluster chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, and I'll cut this yarn, and this completes row 19. Now for row 20, I'll use yarn in yellow color, and I'll still continue decreasing. So I'll get to that same place where we have ended the previous row, right through the chain, I insert my hook, and I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through chain one. Now I decrease through the same chain and through the second chain with half double crochet decrease. So one and two. Again through the next two chains I will decrease with two half double crochet. The next two chains I will decrease with two half double crochet. For the next two chains I will decrease with two half double crochet. So I'll continue decreasing throughout row 20. So you repeat this throughout row 20. Now to finish row 20, through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And I'll chain one, then cut this yarn. So this completes row 20. Row 21, through that first chain, I insert my hook, and I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. 
then I'll chain one, and then through this first chain and second chain, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. For the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. So repeat this throughout row 21. We're decreasing in every chain. Finish this row right here to this first half double crochet chain. I'll make a slip stitch. And now I will chain one, leave a medium sized tail, and I'll turn our work inside out. And now with a yarn needle, we'll close this loop right here. Maybe it'll be easier to show you from the right side. Let's do this from the right side, but it'll be easier to see the stitches. All right, so right here at the center, we'll weave this uh, yarn needle through every stitch or chain. Insert this needle right here in the center and turn our head inside out and just weave these ends in. So nine and a half inches wide and ten inches long. Turn out pretty well actually. 